Welcome everybody to week seven and eight of From Muffin Top to Mountain Top. This week I wanted to give you a weekly update on how I did weight wise. I guess in this case it's a two week update. And talk about how I'm making my food more flavorful yet not adding calories uh, to the food. So let's hop into the kitchen and dig in and uh, share some things I've learned. So here we are hanging out in the kitchen and I grew up where my mom cooked a lot of home cooked meals, but I never really paid that much attention to how she cooked or her techniques or what she put in food. And I've struggled so long. How do you make healthy food taste good for so long? My chicken breasts were just bland. Everything was just bland. By no means am I an expert, but I just wanted to share a few of the things that I've learned over the past few weeks and months. Uh, as far as seasoning your food goes, super important things. And the great thing about spices, they're free. They're empty calorie. They're free calories, zero calories. It's free flavor. Uh, it's not costing you anything. So let me flip this here around. So let's check out some spices, share a cool few things I've learned. Super important for your immune system, ginger. I've been keeping ginger around a lot. Great in an Asian dish. Uh, been making lettuce wraps once every week or couple of weeks. Ginger, super important, really delicious and cheap. Definitely got to get on board on the ginger game. Garlic. I eat garlic in just about everything. Garlic has an incredible amount of health benefits. Highly recommend garlic. Think about garlic, especially when you're cooking with onions. Uh, wait just a little bit. Uh, let your onions and heart of your stuff cook down a little bit. Then put the garlic in after that or else the garlic might burn. Then we've got all these delicious flavors that I've really been using. So let me share a little bit, real quick, a few of the things I've learned as far as salt goes. I did not realize kosher salt, which is a, a thicker crystal, a thicker grain, not that you could see that, Kosher salt is for cooking. Sea salt is for finishing. So super, super important. Uh, never realized that before, but kosher salt truly does, especially when you're seasoning meat, things like that. Definitely roll with the kosher salt. Super good stuff. Peppercorns, definitely in just about everything. Good old fresh ground pepper. And then there's some other things I've never used before until recently. One thing is curry powder. Never used it. There's a super good coconut milk and curry dish that I've made. It literally has six ingredients, I think. One of the Flav City recipes. It is good. Never used it before. Bought it. Super glad I bought it. Really good stuff. Another one is turmeric. Turmeric has so many health benefits. It's anti-inflammatory. Some studies have shown it to help prevent cancer. Uh, turmeric, super good stuff. When you cook turmeric, it's good to put a little black pepper with it. They say black pepper helps with the absorption of turmeric. I use turmeric uh, in a rice recipe recently. Made some cauliflower rice, cooked it with some turmeric, gave the nice cool golden color. Really good stuff. And then a couple blends that I've put together uh, that I also got from the Flav City site. Making a super good taco seasoning. Taco seasoning is so full of just junk. 
Lots of times if you buy that packet in the store, sometimes it's got maltodextrin, MSG, all that crap in it. So a taco seasoning I've been making that you can put with pork, beef, chicken. One cool thing we've done recently is pan sear a pork chop with this seasoning all over it. Slice it up thin, put it over some good nachos. Uh, really not that unhealthy. Uh, good organic corn tortilla chips some grated cheddar cheese. It's been really, really good. Uh, but it's very simple. Paprika, cumin, some chili powder, a tablespoon of those, half a tablespoon of coriander, half of thyme. Mix that all up. The key is letting it season your meat. If you're doing ground beef, you can put it in with the pan, but if you're doing a whole chicken breast or a whole piece of pork, let your pork sit out for 30 minutes to warm up a little bit. Definitely always warm your meat first. Not warm, but get it up. Let it sit out of the fridge for 30 minutes before you cook it. It definitely helps. Put that spice rub on it. Ah, oh, it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Another cool thing I've used, I made a Moroccan chicken stew. I posted some pictures up on Facebook and Instagram. But believe it or not, it had cinnamon and cloves in it. Super cool recipe. Also had some uh, cumin, coriander, paprika. Uh, but don't sleep on cinnamon and cloves just on dessert. Definitely you can use it in some other style dishes as well. One other cool thing I've learned, how do I make coffee taste really good and still have my cream and everything in it? Well, I get just heavy whipping cream and some pumpkin pie spice. I got a milk frother. It's like 10 bucks on Amazon. Put that pumpkin pot spice, froth that up, and you'll get pretty close to a pumpkin spice latte without getting any of the 800 grams of sugar that are normally into it. Just some other staples. Mostly everybody uses garlic powder, onion powder. One thing I've been doing as well is making a turkey sausage or a ground pork sausage. Um, definitely use some garlic powder, onion powder, thyme, and fennel. Fennel is essential to a good sausage to me. Uh, delicious seasoning there. One other thing don't sleep on. Uh, this, I kind of had to go with the reduced sodium soy sauce I couldn't find. It's called Tamari. Uh, it's a much better product than this. Um, but this was the best I could find given the circumstances. But soy sauce and toasted sesame oil, two super awesome things that you can use in more than just an Asian dish. Uh, we actually use just a dab of this and a dab of the soy sauce in a slaw. Absolutely fantastic recipe. Again, a lot of these recipes I'm using are from Flav City. It's flavcity.com. Check it out super easy recipes and most of this stuff i think i bought uh turmeric and curry powder i pretty much had everything else and most people do have everything else in their pantry uh, but those are a couple of the spice blends that i've used recently um, again all these for the most part except the soy sauce and the toasted sesame oil these are pretty much free flavor, not costing you calories. So just wanted to share that with you. Hope so you it has it. been two weeks, but I'll share a quick update weight wise where I'm at. It was Easter week. We cooked a ham, sweet potato casserole. My sister bought like 27,000 Reese's peanut butter eggs, and I only had two. That was it. 
but still, I gave in to the Easter temptation. Dang you, Peter Cottontail. But, after two weeks, not great results. But I did lose one whopping pound down to 311.8. So it's been eight weeks down, what is that, 17.2 pounds. So hey, I think that's good progress. It's still going down. Got to work a little harder, get back on track. I had uh, nothing but kale and the rest of the ground beef for my lettuce wraps last night for dinner so trying to get back on the straight and narrow hope everybody's staying safe out there with all this corona stuff and hope everybody in north carolina is safe from the crazy crazy storms we had uh, monday morning wicked storms came through between about 4 45 and 6 um, i did not sleep through it it was not a good night's sleep that night uh, pretty crazy storm, especially for early, so early in the year. Uh, but hope everybody's staying safe and uh, hope everybody has an awesome week.